everyone, this is Khaled and welcome to a new Xbox video. Today we have a big news about the Xbox uh, emulation. So uh, we have this tweet from x one and in tweet uh, it mentioned that introducing x one and Xbox One translation layer for Windows PCs. Currently, six games are uh, fully playable uh, with others uh, reaching logos and in-game. More news to come. And we have here like some uh, screenshots for the games. Uh, let's explore. So we have Minecraft. This is the Xbox One, uh, claiming that this is the Xbox One uh, version. We have also Bigel 2. This is also a great platformer uh, on the uh, Xbox. I mean that that this is from EA, and we have, as you can see here, we have the uh, Windows 11. Um, uh, like this is running on Windows 11. Uh, here we have Limbo. So uh, this also running as we can see here also on Windows 11 and we have Sonic Mania and we also uh, tweeted two more games we have here uh, Undertale so uh, and also we have uh, Chaos Child. So uh, it's interesting to see uh, that like some people managed or like some teams managed to uh, make this uh, make this games working so at the end uh, this is an a windows version so it's a w uh, wb app and um, uh, the way it works should be uh, in similar fashion of um, of windows uh, applications and programs and games so what what really matter is how you can uh, find the missing pieces and uh, connect the dots and complete the operating system as isolated as it can be it can be like a virtual machine or uh, filling up the the files itself like running it maybe in 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 a virtual box manner like a virtual uh, virtualization for the for the game itself we 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 don't know now uh, how long it would take to uh, to see that uh, it it's it was mentioned down that there's no uh, release we have here video so we can see here this is a windows um 11 so we can hear uh, we can see here also this is running uh, like some sort of terminal running in the background here uh, and as you can see here it's loading fine even there is an audio you can hear the audio here um, we can see that the game is running fine um, yeah it's it's super interesting I mean this is Bagel 2 so let's check that I like this game it's, it's very cool if you didn't play it you, you should um, one of the best games, I mean, uh, I mean, the older ones that you hit the balls and stuff on. Uh, anyway, we can see here the game is running. There's no frame drops or anything. Um, it's, 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 it's a Windows. I mean, it's, it's, it's like running the, the Windows application. So you can see here that uh, the game is flawless and nothing is uh, running. So we can see here that um, some tweets here we can see here uh, do non-game stuff like YouTube, Edge, and other non-gaming apps and dashboard work. And X11 said that these uh, are normal UWB apps. Uh, they can run without any compatibility or translation layer. So the main concern is the translation layer that to uh, make the games itself running from the era operating system uh, and make it run here. We have one interesting tweet here, which is like we have this fake access saying that showing where, uh, showing wireframes, showing render doc, anything prove that that show us anything that prove not just the video. And we have this uh, tweet from Cast, uh, Cactus Dubbers. He's saying that it's legitimate. Uh, feel free to decompile any Xbox One game. ABIs are mostly the same. There are four compatibility projects, uh, so this one is very much legitimate. And uh, again, asking what is the, the other projects we have here, uh, one more project called Win Drango uh, is the only public one. So we have one project also popped up like um, in the last week. Uh, it, it's called Win Drango. It's not a super complex project. Uh, you really just adding missing functions and fixing the modified ones plus Win uh, RT. And like, like what the same the standard UWB app, just a different target. So this is this is like yeah as I mentioned it's it's just a UWB app and nothing major you need to just like fill the dots uh, and like fill the missing parts pieces and make it make it work and to make them in, in order we have uh, like a project called Win Drango this is an open source we have Win Era this is uh, most advanced we have unnamed one uh, first to run a game this one unnamed and we have 
uh, Spasha, Sp Spasasha, Spasaha, something like that. This run Destiny uh, 1 specific, it's running Destiny 1 specific. So uh, looking to this uh, Win uh, Drango project, uh, we can see here that uh, this project, let me uh, zoom up a little. So let's, <clears throat> let's zoom up a little. So we can see here that uh, this is uh, formerly uh, was named as Xbox Xp XP One MU. Uh, it's world first Xbox One compatibility letter for uh, compatibility layer for the uh, Windows for Windows, and we can see here that like we have here a small wiki showing nothing at the moment. So uh, I, this is this is just submitted like four days ago. Um, like we we will still see some some stuff here. So. Uh, they have like some sort of um, Discord, so you can see here the Discord. If you want to hop on, you can just like press this button. I will leave a link on the description. Um, so you can see here that uh, discussing legal this in Discord is just like discussing uh, discussing illegal activities or such piracy, illegal hacking, or whatever. This will be uh, getting banned. So the project uh, is currently there's no games running. So they have a compatibility list also, which is empty by. At, at the time of broadcasting this video, maybe it will be filled uh, with other games later. Um, we for the currently track games and feel free to contribute your own updates, screenshots, and information about it. Uh, so we have here disclaimer. So it's mentioned that the goal of this project is to uh, is to experiment, research, and educate the topic of emulation of modern devices and operating system. And the highlighting and put it in bold. It's not for enabling illegal activity. Uh, all information is obtained via reverse engineering of uh, legally purchased uh, devices and games information made public on the internet. Uh, you would be surprised what Index and Google. Uh, we are we are not anyway affiliated with Microsoft. So this is a side pro I mean, this is a separate team side. It's not affiliated with Microsoft. So they are like explicitly uh, saying that this is not intending for enabling illegal any activities like for uh, pirating games or stuff like that so everything should be legitimate and just like pure running pure emulation that you have done the backup so i have explored in my previous videos uh, different ways how we can dump games uh, from the xbox one and xbox uh, series x if you have the right dashboard if you have uh, the application uh, the right application and the set of uh, all the tools and stuff like that so you can see uh, my uh, previous uh, videos for that and once you got and you obtained this files for the for the uh, for your games uh, hopefully soon we will finally have like some uh, binaries uh, or like some 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 source um, so some projects that like it would be available for public that they can uh, run these games until now it's 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 much about experimenting and researching and how we can uh, fill the gaps and check what what's missing in the um, in the in the application itself to make it runnable. Uh, so uh, also they mentioned that like if you have some uh, spare time and you know C++ and have the knowledge in Windows internals and how to run the code, uh, so you can contribute uh, if you want uh, or if you have this uh, skill set. And yeah, um, so basically this is a very interesting time to uh, see all this uh, efforts. Of, I mean, it, ha it has been a long time since we got any update regarding uh, the game, the games itself, or like some some updates on the scene of the Xbox. Uh, yes, it's a Windows. A yes, and most of the games uh, you can find it on Windows platform. Uh, but it's 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 a good thing that you can also have it. Uh, I mean, have the uh, the other hardware uh, like get emulated uh, in a similar fashion as we're doing for the PlayStation uh, Three and uh, like the Xbox Xenia, for example, for the Xbox Three Hundred and Sixty and other uh, gaming consoles. Uh, some games might be different than the Windows version they are running or like something like uh, maybe we will be able to run the emulation for the Xbox with the native emulator for the Xbox 360 that it's used on the Xbox uh, One or the Xbox Series X. Uh, so yeah, uh, very interesting news. Um, I wanted to share this news with you guys. So uh, thanks for sticking up. Uh, please drop a like uh, and uh, subscribe to the channel if you didn't do so. Um, and share it with a friend. Uh, and see you guys on the next one. Bye for now.